Hey guys, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I think the last one I made was the question and answer one. But um, I basically just wanted to make this video to um, really to fill you guys in on why it's been taking me so long to finish Better Than Revenge and Enchanted. Well, I haven't finished shooting it yet because I was I was gonna make the video more than just me singing because that gets old really fast. Like the only videos I have up now are just me singing around the field pretty much, but they're fun to make so whatever. And um, so I'm waiting to use somebody else to be in the video with me to play like my love interest or whatever. So this is why it's been taking me so long. But in the meantime, I might decide to do something more simple, a simpler music video while I'm waiting to finish the other ones, if you get what I'm saying. So um, I guess to keep, I didn't want you guys to be completely bored. So I thought maybe for this video, I would do like a, not really a makeup tutorial, but just kind of explain how I do my makeup for my videos and really pretty much my everyday routine because a couple people actually requested that. Okay. So to start out, obviously like wash your face and everything in the morning and night, but um, it, if I want, usually I only use, hold on, I didn't plan this out. Okay, I'm like very, very messy countertop. So I'm kind of like scavenging for makeup. Okay, so um, what I use is, I use Bare Minerals because their makeup is very natural. It, it, it's not, it's a very, it's a very natural matte look and it almost looks like you're wearing no makeup and I really like that because I don't like to do a very cakey look. I mean, nobody wants to wear cakey. You don't want to, hey, come eat my face. I'm a cake. No. <laughs> okay, so I use Bare Minerals in medium beige and to conceal it because you know how sometimes you get the under eye circles, the dark circles. I use the well rested and sometimes I'm a little pale right now for me. So um I kind of mix these two together if I don't want to look orange like Snooky. I love Snooky, she's awesome. But I don't really want to look orange. So um and then if I kind of want to glow on my cheeks, I'll use this. And for and for my other videos, I kind of used a very luminescent. It's actually Victoria's Secret eyeshadow, but I dusted it over my cheeks. So I use that. But if I want a little bit more of a coverage than just powder, I'll use the my Benefit Tinted Moisturizer, which has SPF 15 in it, which is really good because um you wanna you don't you wanna have sunscreen on, especially me, because where I live it's very hot and gross. Oh and by the way, this is my natural hair. Sorry, it looks really not I'm gonna get into that. Okay, and then I use these two mascaras. This is MAC, Hot and Naughty Lash. And the thing that's really interesting about this is it actually has two brushes in one. The purple glittery side is very, it's a very bold look. As you can see, the brush is really, I don't know if this focuses, yeah, I don't think it focuses. This is like my computer, so it's not very good quality. And then that's for a very bold look. And this is for a very a more natural look. So I'll do those because I like to, I have dark, I have pretty long lashes. <laughs> and then my favorite mascara that I, but it, this is very, this is more natural, but it makes, it really does work. It gives very long lashes is Lash Accelerator. I really like this one a lot. I think it shows up backwards on my computer. So sorry about that. And then probably one of the most important steps that I do. Um, well, I rim my waterline, which is this area right there. I always rim my waterline with white because that brightens up your eyes. And then the final, because my eyes always look like, watch out, in the videos. And then another, I'm not, I'm not trying to be like a makeup guru either. I'm just showing you. Um, and then one of the last steps. And I... I'm at the end of the video. This is very unorganized. I apologize. I'm at the end of the video. I'm going to tell you the order of how I do it. I use, it's this highlighting powder that I, it's kind of ancient actually. I've had this for forever. And I just kind of dust that on the inner corners of my eyes. And it really gives you that nice pop. 
And then, just to get, make the look a little bit more bold, because it's almost like too natural, I use Benefit's Magic Ink Jet Black Liquid Eyeliner. And my makeup artist gave me a very good tip for applying liquid liner. It's actually good if you rest the brush, if you actually kind of rest it on your eyelashes and just just kind of dry. I already have a little bit on right now, so I'm not going to do it. But you already, you just kind of rest it on your lashes and then continue to drag it along. And just make sure you keep your eyes still or else you're going to have a weird, crazy line. And then, right, for my eyebrows, I use just a little, oh, that scared me. My girl needs pearl fell. This is like a little brow kit. It comes with like a little mini tweezer thingy. It's awesome. And then stuff to fill in your eyebrows because I used to never fill in my eyebrows, but it really makes a difference. It just frames your face. And I feel like there's more. Oh, yeah. And then I use, I, I'm a benefit freak. And then I use this stuff called Moonbeam. And I put this on the highlight. I highlight parts of my face that are too. You're supposed to highlight your cupid's bow right here. And just kind of blend that in. And then on your cheeks, the bridge of your nose up here underneath your brow, above your brow, and then a little bit on your forehead if that's what you desire to do. Personally, I don't like any shine on my forehead, really. And that is pretty much it. Oh, now the order, okay. So first, to the moisturizer, then um, after that, all the bare mineral makeup stuff, which is just pretty much just powder. Then after that, what do I do? This eyeshadow, and I also apply this on my cheeks. Then after that, I do, I do the liquid liner before I do the mascara. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. That's just how I do it. So the little, I do the, the liquid liner. Then I curl my lashes. Then I do the mascara. And I usually do a couple of coats because I really like that lot, those really that really thick lash look. And then I rim my waterline with white. Oh, and something I forgot. Sometimes, if I want a little bit more of a bolder look, I have this MAC brownish eyeliner type thing. And I don't put that in my waterline. I put it like on the lash line. So you can't actually you can't really tell that I'm wearing eyeliner. It just kind of makes my lash line look thicker. And sometimes I'll tight line it. I'll put it on the top, like under here, just so it looks like my lash line on the top is thicker than it actually is. And then the last step is, um, well, actually, I lied. Not the last step is um, the highlighting powder on the inner corners. And then after that, I'll put. Oh, I got something in my eye. I'll put this on my cheeks and everything and all the other places that I told you. Then I'll fill in my eyebrows. And then if I have any additional shine, I'll dust a little bit more powder over it. And that is it in a nutshell. So I just decided to make this basically because I was bored. And I wanted to fill you guys in on what I was doing. And so if you actually want me to make a makeup tutorial for this, let me know. But I, did, I got maybe five or six requests so I didn't I didn't want to make it if not everybody wanted it you know waste my time because that would be pretty time consuming so please just let me know and if you watch this whole video then you're awesome because I probably wouldn't watch it if it were me watching someone else's so thank you I appreciate you guys watching my videos so much I love all the comments you guys leave me please leave comments on videos my channels I love it and I love you guys bye